Hi, I'm Char Dastrup from CR Bronze Works. Today I'm here at the foundry to show you how bronze plaques and grave markers are made. Once your order has been approved, it is printed out and then it is taken down to the setup room to be set up. Once your order comes down to the setup room, I have to pull your pattern. So there are hundreds of patterns that I have to go through, so normally I know where everything is even though it's messy in here. So I will pull this pattern and start laying it out. Okay, right now it's a blank pattern. I'm going to take it over to the other, you know, side over there and start laying your lettering on it. We have thousands of different patterns that are all different and they some some of them have the artwork on them already. Some of them are blank. Some of them I have to add artwork to them. And so it takes me a few minutes to find them sometimes because we also have a bunch of them over in our other building. So now I am going to take our loose lettering and I am going to lay the information out on the plaque and take it over there and make Laura glue it. This is considered a hand set marker and I have 13 different sizes of lettering to choose from when I'm putting this on and I usually use the biggest I can when I'm laying a marker out. Um, there's also, um, a polymer plaque which is not handset it is done with a computer I don't line it Laura does all the lining I just lay the lettering on there as big as I can usually make it the biggest size you know for the name and I start out usually on the name before I start out on any of the other part of the marker and then Laura will take it over there and draw the lines on it and glue it down but I don't do any of that over here Laura does it all Okay, this is a marker that is uh, laid out by Sarah, and once Sarah has laid it out, I bring it over here to my setup area where I do the typeset, and I will make, measure and make lines on the pattern to give me a straight edge to work with the letters. So, and after 20 years of experiencing doing this, it's like it's more of an eye for me than it is and I have measured down and up to make for sure the lines are all straight on the pattern. After I get the lines on and I make for sure it's all even, I will just take a ruler and I will measure and make for sure it's center of the marker. This process, depending on what amount of lettering is on it, depends on how long it'll take to glue it and our punctuations in little teeny containers and it's usually pretty hard to find. And once I get it all centered on the marker, I'll take a, a, a vinyl top adhesive and I will glue the lettering onto the pattern. Yeah, this one's a pretty simple marker with not a lot of detail to it. Most markers aren't like this. Maybe a VA matching marker is a lot like this. And this glue probably takes probably an hour to set up and harden before it can actually be molded. Now I'm going to take you over to where the actual marker is made. And, and we actually call that the foundry. That is where we actually pour the marker um, into the sand and the whole process there. So come with me. 